uh, Kathy of Woods Cup of Soul Show. Hi, ladies. How are you today? Hey, hi. This has been interesting, <laughs> um, to say the least. I asked a gentleman, um, you know, the first season, we really, we fell in love with the couple and we just, you know, we had these expectations and it was wrong. And I think, you know, to a certain extent, did you feel a certain type of pressure? Because, you know, not only are you dating for yourself, but there's an audience aspect to it. You're being filmed. It's a television show. What about that scared you a little bit? Let's start with you, Alexa. Um, I think afterwards, I think like everyone's been kind of like put into a box of like who's who from season one and like how you compare that to someone like so several times for like, oh, it's the Lauren and Cameron, it's Lauren and Cameron. And I, you know, so much respect like their relationship, especially like going through it and seeing how like, like real their love was, but like Brynn and I are, it's, it's something I feel like completely different. And I feel like sometimes it's, it's kind of unfortunate, like being, you know, a few seasons later, cause they're like, oh, like this person's the shake and this person's the whoever. And, you know, it's, you know, and it's putting you like, this is the villain and this is the, you know, and it's not, it's, I know I know that it's a show. I know it's entertainment, but I feel like it's so much more beyond that. Like this is our real lives with real people or relationships and not one person is the same as someone else. And sometimes I feel like it's a little unfair to be compared to other people. And it's not even like in a negative way. It's just, we're so much our own independent people. Um, I have a very beautiful marriage, a very happy marriage. And I know that it looks like we're insane, kind of like Lauren and Cameron, like, you know, episode one, I love you. Let's get married. Um, and, you know, all of us did find love and no matter what that looks like, we still are our own relationship. So, um, yeah, I don't want anyone to be compared to Alexa and Brennan love. I hope that there's others that go through this experience and find it, but we are so uniquely our own relationship. And that's, you know, that's just something that's ours. Um, let's talk a little bit about, um, you know, just the struggle of opening up to someone in such a short time. Um, Nancy, let's let's talk about that. Uh, did you feel like a little intimidated or, you know, were you ready you know, to just jump in? Yeah, so my, my strategy was just to be myself. So conversations I was having on date with uh, someone was very different from my conversation with a date with someone else. So I really just um, allowed myself to open up and, let the conversations roll. I think what made my interaction so special with Bartice is that we kept it so fun. We kept it lighthearted. We chose to not say any physical attributes, what our race was. We chose to not talk about, I actually found out his age the day before he was going to propose. And the, wait, what, you're 25? That was the day before, the night before, actually, I think, before we were supposed to go to proposals. And so for me, it was very... Um, it, it was a shocker. And so I think that, you know, opening up, it, it's never been hard for me to make a connection with people. But I think when I'm considering the love of my life and like a, a decision forever, I just wanted to make sure that whoever chose me and if I chose them on the other side, that they were being genuine and they were making me happy. And that's what I was able to find with my proposal. Now, Raven and Zanab, what is one word or two words that you could use and we'll start with you, Raven, to describe what you learned about yourself in this process. Um, growth and vulnerability. Um, um, I would say just uh, grace and strength. Absolutely. Thank you so much, ladies. Sorry about the little confusion in the beginning. I appreciate you all and best of luck to you. Yeah. Thank you. Bye.